Welcome to another Railpack video. This time we visit the Seminole Gulf Railway's Sarasota Division. The Seminole Gulf began operations in 1987 on two separate former CSX lines. The southern ends of both these lines have been abandoned in pieces to their current ends after the Seminole Gulf takeover. These were former Atlantic Coast Line and Seaboard Coast Line routes that ran to Venice and Naples, Florida. Today, the Sarasota Division, which we visited in February 2023, terminates just south of the Y, north of downtown Sarasota. At the time of our visit, the Sarasota Division was seeing higher than normal traffic levels. The Fort Myers Division was still being repaired after Hurricane Ian damaged the right-of-way and several bridges in September of 2022. Several businesses were transloading on the Sarasota Division until the Fort Myers Division was fully back in service. Shortly after arriving in the Sarasota area, we find the crew already at work switching at Myrtle Street. They'll take care of a few moves, and then head down to the Y-Light engine. The noisy birds you hear are actually Nande parrots, a type of conure. They are native to South America, but some kept as pets, escaped, and easily adapted to the subtropical Florida climate. Today there is a sizable population in Southwest Florida, and their antics are certainly fun to watch.
After arriving at the Y in Sarasota, the crew will dig out a car for a customer switch, and one for interchange. These cars are stored at the end of track, south of the Y, After switching, the crew departs north with one car for interchange. They will make a stop at Myrtle Street again to pick up more cars. An interesting thing to note, is that the grade crossings on the southern portion of the line are equipped with island circuits only. Meaning, that, rather than the crossings activating based on train speed, the crew must pull onto a hard track circuit to activate the gates. Because these island circuits are located close to the crossing, often the crew will have to pull up and stop, waiting for the gates to go down.
After doing a little switching in Myrtle Street to gather a few more cars, the crew heads north to the CSX interchange at Onico. After arriving at Onico, the crew drops their cars at the north end of the interchange track for CSX. They then run around to the south end to pick up inbound cars. Number 580 had been left at Onico by another crew the previous day. 580 is an EMD GP9 and isn't too far from home rails, having been built for Florida East Coast in November 1954. Five ninety six, on the other hand, is a General Electric B thirty nine dash eight E, and was built for LMX in April nineteen eighty eight. The crew will bring five eighty back with them, but unfortunately, the old Jeep wasn't running this day and would be towed back to Myrtle Street, dead. Having finished sorting out their train, the crew heads back south to Myrtle Street.
no other work to complete today, the crew will tie the train down at Myrtle Street, and head back to their crew base at Fort Myers. If you happen to be in the Southwest Florida area, consider checking out this great short line. Thank you to all who watched till the end, be sure to check out our other railroad and automotive content. We hope we've earned your subscription today, and as always, feel free to like and comment.